In the last two videos, we took a quick look at the tools of Runway ML, including the 29 AI tools and several others that are located in other areas. We toured the homepage and got acquainted with where everything is, and we generated videos using text-to-video and video-to-video. -video. If you missed either of those, feel free to go back and check them out. There's a link to the first video at the top of your screen right now if you want to start at the beginning. Now we're going to look at the video editor, which is in the left menu, and it is labeled Video Editor Projects. Then we'll take a look at the tools available under the Edit Videos menu item. So let's go over to our Video Editor Projects and we will double click on this last one. All of our assets are here on the left. I will go ahead and open up Gen 2 and I will grab this last one of the woman walking in the small town. We can upload videos and assets to here. We can add text to the screen. We can put a solid canvas above or below the screen. And then we have some templates that we can choose from. And those are sorted by category, openers, slideshows, product promotions, motion graphics. And we're gonna skip over those. I'm gonna remove some of the stuff that I just added. So I'm gonna right click on this solid and delete it. And I'm gonna right click on this text and delete it. This is the timeline down at the bottom, pretty typical of a video editor. And the whole layout here is pretty standard for a video editor. Over on the right, under the scene, if we select an object, either on the timeline, select the clip, or select it in the preview window, we get the properties and some options that we can work with. Transform is the positioning, rotation, alignment, that sort of thing. Crop is right below that, so we could crop this video image if we wanted to. And then we have AI tools, so we can green screen, in paint, or do motion tracking. Now I really like the way that Runway does green screen. So I'm gonna click that green screen option. And what you do here is you click a few points in the object to tell the robots what is what. So for instance, I can click right in the middle and I say, well, we need to add the head and it starts trying to figure it out right away. And it's done a great job. But you'll have situations where the robots think that maybe this part here is part of her. And you wanna tell it, no, it's not. Well, in Runway, you can just click this Exclude button over here, and now wherever you drop a, a red dot, it'll say, okay, that is definitely not her. Oops. So in most video editors, you have one of two extremes. You either have to rotoscope and be very detailed and precise and a long, laborious process to mask a subject and say, this is the thing that I want to either remove from the scene or that I want to keep this object and remove everything else. Or they are a one-click, take-it-or-leave-it type deal where it finds the human or the object, usually it will only find humans, and says, this is it, this is what I found, this is what I'm removing, and you have no control if it's so close but maybe missing a detail, you can't really fix it and fine tune it. With Runway, by being able to drop these little points here, it starts masking and tries to figure it out. And if it makes a boo-boo, like down here, there's a little spot in the purse that it didn't get. So we'll just click a green dot onto there. Now we're telling it, hey, this is part of what we want masked. And it figures it out. Switch over to my hand tool and drag this up a little bit. And it also, I noticed before, it didn't have the tips of her shoes. So that might've been a little weird, but now that I've added the purse, it sort of figured that out. So we'll zoom this back out so we can see the whole thing. We can adjust the feather if we like to sort of soften those edges, but I think we're gonna leave that right there at zero. And when you're happy with this, you can just say done masking, and you can always come back and edit your mask right here under green screen mask. Sometimes after you do a green screen or cutout and you start to play through, you find things that just didn't work out so well. Like right, I want to find the best spot right here, this white, that shouldn't be there. So I'm going to come back over here on the right and I'm going to hit edit mask. Then I'm going to select exclude and I'm going to come over here and then right here between her knees. We don't want that masked. That's not part of her. Okay, great. It figured that out. There was some issue with the hair here. It seemed to be including things that just aren't her hair. So let's see if we can get it to pick up the right 
part of the hair and not include stuff that just isn't so much. All right, we will say done masking. And on this frame, we've gotten rid of that white space that we didn't want before. Let's just move through. Uh, it sort of comes back in there. So we'd want to move forward a little bit there to where it's bad and go ahead and do the same thing. Edit our mask, select the exclude, come right here down closer to the knees and say, that's not part of what we got going on. If we accidentally put our exclude somewhere we didn't want to, say we got it over here on her knee, we can take that off by just clicking it again and it goes away. I'm gonna say done masking. And we were playing with the mask just to see how it worked, but I don't really want her masked. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over here on this right menu next to green screen mask. And I'm gonna click this minus button to remove the effect. And now we're back to unmasked the whole scene. In painting, we can click on in painting here and we are gonna be masking again, but now we're just gonna mask. What do we wanna get rid of out of this scene? I'm gonna get rid of that purse. It's small, let's just do that. So we wanna get rid of that and it's gone. So now let's say done in painting and it does pop up and show you when you make a change like that, it had this little pop up over here that said you can find in painting and edit it here. So now let's play and see how it did. And what it's trying to do here is fill the space where we remove the object with what you'd expect to see there if the object never existed. And it's doing a halfway decent job. In the video editor, you have some effects and filters here over on the right. Drop those down. They do give you instant previews. If you just hover over, you'll see what it's gonna do. You also have motion effects where you can choose to fade or swipe either motion in or motion out. We're not gonna do either of those things. So we'll go ahead and just minus that. So we're back to nothing. And if you wanna export the clip, it's right behind my fat head right over here. Drop down this export clip and choose how you wanna export it. The format, whether or not to include audio. And this would be your export button if you were upgraded to a paid plan, which I am not. Now let's go to edit videos. And this is something that's separate from the video editor project. So this is more like you're just working with a single clip because in the video editor projects, like a typical video editor, you have a timeline, you can have multiple clips, you can have audio, you can have effects and all that sort of thing. But when we're talking about just edit videos, we're really talking about just a clip and we're doing something very specific to that individual clip. This would have worked fine for what we were just doing. I just wanted to show you the layout of the video editor. If you really just wanted to get rid of that lady's purse, for example, using in painting for a single clip would be just fine. So if there's anything here that you want to do to a single clip, you don't have to go into the video editor to do it. You can do it right within one of these simple selections. In the so, next video, we're gonna experiment with Runway ML's lip sync tool, where you choose a video of a person or upload an image of your own, choose an audio file, text to speech with an AI voice, or record your voice within Runway, and end up with a video where the person in the image comes to life and speaks the audio. That video is on your screen right now. Just click it and I'll be there waiting for you. Come on, click it. Don't leave me over there waiting alone.